so many taste tests. I'm really glad you're here to tell me when I'm done. Because I will, I will, no worries. <laughs> okay. That's what we are doing wrong with eggplant. Are you planning a trip to Istanbul? Then you have come to the right place. We're Jess and Miles, and we have spent the past couple of years here trying to help others fall in love with this city just like we have. We are really excited for today's video for so many reasons. We have been searching for an authentic cooking class here in Istanbul for so long, and we are thrilled because we think we have finally found it. Not only is the cooking class we're going to be doing today in a local's home, but we are going to start by joining our host at the market to pick up our ingredients. We have done some really great cooking classes throughout our travels, and our absolute favorites have usually either been hosted by a local in their home or included going to a local market, but very few have included both. So we are so excited to have found this one here in Istanbul. We are also excited because most of our recent videos have been very information-based, which is of course important for you as you plan your trip here, but obviously us getting to do a cooking class is a lot more fun than us explaining how to get a public transit card, for example. Or spending two hours on the metro to show you how to get from the airport to the city center. Anyway, we have come just a little north of Taksim where we're going to be meeting our host. It was very straightforward to get here, so this would be easy to fit in even if you only have a few days here in Istanbul. We'll be sure to share more about how we found this experience a little later along with a special discount. But for now, let's jump in. It's time to meet our host and get to shopping. This is Gulsha. We're gonna be with her for the next several hours and she's gonna be doing her best to try and improve our culinary skills today. First up, we're gonna be picking up a few ingredients for our class. Gulsha took us all around her neighborhood. She explained how to pick the best produce, which spices we would need, and we got to sample so many things. These are the shops Gulsha visits daily and it felt like a mini food tour of her community. Getting to go with her to pick up all of the ingredients gave us so much more appreciation for what goes into making the recipes. And her sweet dog joined us and it seemed like everyone in the neighborhood knew him. We always love experiences that get you off the beaten track and give you a glimpse into the daily life of the place you're visiting. And this truly was the perfect start to this cooking class. Okay, we stopped at several different stores and we've got everything we need. We have one more stop to get some bread, then it's time to get to cooking. It smells so good in here. So many taste tests. We're gonna need to save some room for what we're gonna cook. That was Sarma. Stuffed grape leaves, they're delicious. <laughs> Chocolate and fig, I'll show you this time. <laughs> Okay, so we have always known that Turkish people are amazing, but Gulsha just shared something with us at the bakery that is so cool. We've never heard this before. There was a sign by the cash register, and I guess what you do, she paid for two loaves of bread there, even though she just took one, and then now when somebody in need comes into the bakery, they will give that second loaf of bread away for free. What a great tradition. Yeah. Home sweet home. This is a beautiful home. I like my house slippers. Mm -hmm. As we get ready to start cooking, I just wanna share a little bit about the company that we booked this through. In our efforts to find this cooking class, we stumbled across this local company called Local Bond with a really cool mission of creating unique local experiences. We actually spoke with the owner and it turns out it all started because his mom was doing a cooking class a lot like this one. And he decided to build a network of other locals willing to invite tourists like us into their homes and share their passions. The majority of experiences involve making or enjoying some kind of food like the cooking class we're doing with Gulsha. But there are plenty of other activities as well, like playing cards with a grandma, trying your hand at street art with a graffiti artist, or even hand making tiny Turkish carpets. So if you're coming to Istanbul and you're looking for an authentic experience, you should definitely check out his website. And he has even agreed to allow us to share a 10% discount to anyone who books in the next 30 days. So be sure to check out the description for more details. Okay, today we will cook konyarık. It's an eggplant dish. And we always eat rice pilaf with konyarık. We will also have some uh, lentil soup with my mom's recipe. Uh, very uh, easy but very delicious shepherd salad and um, I already prepared some simolina dessert for you after food. Let the games begin. I am the veggie chopper in our house. Is this for the salad? No, it's for the uh, carnure. We begin with the carnure. Well, you said three steps. I yeah. forgot them already. The Start filling. Filling the eggplants and cook them together. Okay, so the filling, then cook the eggplants and then put them together and cook them again? Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you're peeling some of the skin off of the yes, eggplant. Yes, some of the skin, and I keep some of the skin. Uh, if you take off all the skin, then it will lose the shape. Okay. If you keep all the skin, then you know this eggplant skin has a weird taste. Yes. We take some of this, that's why we... Okay, that's what we are doing wrong with eggplants, because we always leave the full skin on, and then it's like, it's so tough. And we also, I have some uh, water here with salt. Secret of cooking eggplant is rested in a salty water for a while. Semi fried uh, with, with a little olive oil. You know, once I had a, a guest and he was a baker. And you know, bakers measure everything. I said, I, I'm now adding some salt. He asked, How many grams? I don't know. I just add. Let's add the uh, onion here. Okay. okay. Oops, gotta back up. <laughs> I wore a white shirt today. Yeah. So, so I'm definitely getting an apron. Now you're ready. My nice skills are not the best. It smells so good in this kitchen. Look at this. This is the filling for the eggplant. It's got ground beef, onions, tomatoes, pepper, and I'm olive sure oil. All, an olive oil. <laughs> just a little of course. Just a little bit of olive oil. We were telling her earlier that before we came to Istanbul, we would probably use, I don't know, a small thing of olive oil in maybe a month. Now we've graduated to a liter every couple weeks. How, how much olive oil do you go through, honestly? I finish it in two cloths. <laughs> two cloths? <laughs> That's Every two cloths, I have to refill it. I want you to taste this. I'll take that job. <laughs> mm, that is so good. <laughs> wow. I know. This is the main base for almost all Turkish home cooking. If you have just white bean, cook it, and you have a white bean stew. Or you have green beans, add the green beans and you have a great green bean stew. If you don't have vegetable, just boil some pasta. <laughs> it's a great pasta sauce. If you don't have pasta or have time for boiling it, you are very hungry, just bake two eggs over it and you will love it. If you even don't have an egg, just make a hot sandwich. <laughs> or just a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> with, when spoon. all else fails, <laughs> <laughs> just eat it with a spoon. I would. Oh my God. Yeah, you gotta try, try that. Wow. You got the smell? <laughs> smell never comes through on a video. Oh, no. You just gotta Sorry. come and do it. You just gotta come and do it. Sorry. <laughs> now we'll cut the okay. eggplant side to side, but not end to end. She said not to cut the eggplant all the way through to the bottom, and of course that was the first thing that I accidentally <laughs> just did. Now the fun mm. begins. So do you take any of the insides out or no? No, no, no. Oh. Everything will be inside. Nice technique. And you see, we have still leftovers. Yes. Do you know what I see? I see that the only one you had to fix was the one that I did. <laughs> and we'll know it's done when the tomatoes and peppers are cooked. The carneric is on the stove, and it's time to start making some lentil soup. But this is not any lentil soup. This is her grandmother's or your mom's? This is her mom's recipe. So when it's cooler weather, we eat lentil soup like three times a week. So I'm very excited. In Turkey, we measure everything with glass. Uh, on books, on internet, on TV shows, mm -hmm. we always measure everything with glass. First, we will peel and uh, grate potato and okay. uh, carrot. Okay. Then we will add the lentil and a bit rice. Oh, rice to the soup too? Yes. Oh wow, yes. okay. Just one finger tick. My job is to clean up. Like that? Yes, it's very good. So tomato paste is basically in everything. Yes. First rule of my mom was <laughs> having some hot water uh, in the teapot. We never put uh, cold water to a hot pan. Ah, okay. Uh, we all, uh, also have a saying about this. If someone is on process, don't come with a new idea. Ah. Ah, like How do you it. say that in Turkish? Uh, <gasps> no way. There he is. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Did you decide to join us? Is it smelling really good in here? So you said you'll know it's done when these are done cooking. Yes. You're looking at it and saying it's done. Looks the same I just to understand. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you're here to tell me when I'm done because I'm out of nowhere. I'm just gonna keep stirring. Just add the rice. Wow, I never knew that was um, orzo was on top of it. When you order at a restaurant, it's like, how do they do this? The toasted deliciousness. <laughs> no, we know. What do you think? We're going to make rice like this the next time? We've done all we can do. Now it's time to wait. This is a multi course meal. Do better. Mm -hmm. So the lentils really just kind of dissolve yeah. away to nothing. Yep. So all the texture here, we have the rice, carrots, potatoes. Mm -hmm. it's so good. This really is a treat to be invited into your home. How do you say compliments to the chef? Elena Salik. Healings to your hands. Ah. Thanks to your hands. Elena Salik. Health to your hands. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Look at those colors. The rice. <laughs> I love it. Mm. We hope you like it. Are you kidding? I'm sure we will. Mm. That was delicious. It just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Try some with the rice. Mm. So we'll time for Turkish coffee. Of course, we've got to round it out with some Turkish coffee. Oh yeah. And dessert. Sütlü. Sütlü. Irmik. Irmik. Tatlısı. Tatlısı. Yes. Tatlı means dessert. Ah, tatlı. I like tatlı. That is delicious. It's really refreshing mm -hmm. and surprisingly light, mm -hmm. which is necessary mm -hmm. after all of that food. <laughs> so good. I was trying to explain that I've tried to make Turkish coffee many, many times, and I've <laughs> never really gotten it right. Mm -hmm. But I got a master class tonight, so I'm gonna have to try again. Oh, that was delicious. so good. What a wonderful night. Bye bye. That was amazing. It was truly a wonderful day. We learned so much, ate so much delicious food. I am stuffed. Oh, half, half of a half. A tiny, tiny. It's very <laughs> tiny. Do you try with the lemon? Oh, no, I didn't. Mmm, extra juice. I'll add some. You cannot left anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no more for me. No. no. I am the fullest person in Istanbul. <laughs> These pants are way tighter now than when this day started. <laughs> Wearing jeans was a mistake. <laughs> We've been looking for a cooking class like that for so long. Thank you, Golsha, and thank you, Local Bond. I don't know if it's a food talking or what, but. Oh my gosh. Well, my brain is shutting down, so that's about all I have in me. So we, uh... We still got about 40 minutes to get back to our place. Jess said when we were leaving that we weren't allowed to take the subway. We had to just walk. <laughs> we need to walk, swim across the bus, <laughs> finish the walk. What a great day. All right. <laughs> that's going to be it for us, as always. I don't know it. <laughs> you gotta do it. All right, that's going to do it for us today. As always, thank you so much for watching. We hope you have found this video helpful. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming videos on Istanbul. Thank you so much for watching.